So today we are going to discuss about some more DAX functionalities um, in Power BI. The very interesting uh, function in the Power BI DAX is use relationships. So how this use relationship function is going to help us? If you observe in this Power BI, there is a data modeling. In the data modeling, so in between the two tables, always the relationship it will make based on a single column is only one active relationship. If you observe here, the relationship between the date table and uh, fact internet sales table, there are three relationships are there. Out of these three relationship, only one relationship is in active position. The other two relationships are inactive. So the active relationship is uh, might be uh, a due date or uh, order date or ship date. So when you are placing an order, the uh, order date will come. And when you are, uh, uh, what is the due date for that particular order? And what is the ship date for that particular order? It will come. So you cannot make the uh, more than one relationship active at a time in between these two tables. So let's say, for example, from this, Act, uh, dim, uh, dim date table i want to display the calendar year and each calendar year wise from this fact table what is the sales amount i want to display in that situation what it will do it will get the data based on the whatever the active relationship we have the active relationship i have is the based on the due date but the customer wants to see the data based on the order date how many orders he, he was getting and um, uh, how many orders we shipped but the data it will map and it will join based on the due date. So how are you going to make and calculate the data based on the order date or ship date uh, by making the relationship active at the time of calculating the measures? OK, so by default, it is a due date. So if you want to create two more measures based on the order date key or the ship date key, so you have to use a relationship function that is use relationship function. So what this use relationship function will do the use relationship function when it is calculating the uh, sales amount it makes uh, a relationship between these two tables based on the order date whatever the date you are going to specify inside this uh, function use relationship function so i i just want to try to write down uh, one measure click on new measure So order total sales, order total sales. Calculate you have to use because we are going to evaluate more than uh, one expression. Sum of sales amount, sum of sales amount. Okay. And uh, so what is the function you are going to use? Use relationship function use a relationship what is the syntax for this use relationship function so you have to make a um, relationship bit on what columns you are going to make the relationship what is the column one and column two so the column one i'm going to make it as a order date uh, order date key it's not a date uh, Right from the fact internet sales table, it's an order date key, and from the date table, I want to uh, use uh, a date key, dim date key. Okay, so this is the way you can make the relationship between these two columns active at the time of calculating the sum of the sales amount by using these two columns. Perfect. So the similar way. If you want to make, if you want to create one more uh, uh, calculation based on the ship date. So simply copy this and create a new measure. And in place of this order date key, you can use the ship date key. Only for this uh, calculation, it will make active the relationship. Order date, ship date key. So in place of order date, you can make ship date. Okay, right. So now I want to 
uh, designed two visuals and I will show you, sorry, three visuals, one for due date and one for uh, uh, first take the sales amount uh, on the ship date wise and calendar year. Calendar year you can take on the axis. See, each year wise, this is the ship date wise. And uh, on the same uh, visual, I will bring another column as well. That is order date wise and uh, due date wise. Due date wise is nothing but you can make it the total sales demo. That's all. So this is the way, whatever the three axis it is uh, displaying. The first one is how many are shipped in 2011? How many are Sorry, uh, how many, how much sales amount in 2011 for the order date wise? And this is the due date wise. Okay. So the use relationship function dynamically making the relationship for the for that particular calculation. Because in this modeling, you cannot make the relationship between the two tables uh, more on more than one column. So to achieve this kind of requirement, you can use the function use relationship function 